All right, so um, I've got an RGB LED that I'm plugged in here. I've got a 12 volt battery pack over there. Bunch of double A's, eight double A's, 12 volts. And we're just gonna play around a little bit here. So I have a bunch of 660 ohm resistors that you can see there if it focuses, but it's gray, gray, or blue, gray, brown. So if I, so this is the common anode, and here's the common, or not common. So if I go here, then that turns green. If I move it over and connect to the blue one, it makes it blue. And if I plug it in over here to the red one, then it makes it that red orange. Now if I plug these in a little more permanent, so I don't have to hold it, and take another 680, plug it in here, plug it in here, now it makes kind of a cool purple because it's mixing blue and red. If I go even further with it and plug in the third one, which I gotta be careful not to create a short, then it makes nearly a white. Because the since I'm using the same on each, I'm getting a little bit more of the red. That's why it's not quite perfectly white, but it's pretty close. Uh, if I take this one out, and put in, I have a 1K resistor here. Yep, there's a 1K resistor in the red. Let's see what happens. So there's that, and there's that. Oh, why is that not working? That should be... That's not changing. I hope I didn't just fry the red portion of it. I don't see exactly how I would have. If I plug that in, plug that in. Let's take both of these out. Oh, it is red. It's just so dim because that's the resistor is so high that we couldn't tell a difference. But the red's still on. Now, what if I put two LEDs in series? So if I go, if I unplug this, um, and I'm going to go from anode to cathode, and then anode to cathode, and I do it again, and I'm just using 680 because I know it's safe. Um, they both turn on, they're pretty weak, so I'm going to go down to a 220, which is here. That would be a 220, and kind of hard to see because it's not focused, but it's red, red, brown. Then 220, significantly brighter. And this LED is way brighter than this one. It looks like it on film, and it looks like it in real life. Um, well, let's add another one. So if I go cathode, anode, cathode, then do it again, they all go on. So there's three LEDs in series with a 220 ohm resistor and 12 volts, um, a 12 volt battery.